The question of how fast a particle moves is more complicated than it originally seems. Physicists use different terms, all of which have different meanings to answer this question. The most common terms used to quantify how fast a particle moves are average speed, average velocity, and instantaneous velocity. Let's first take a look at average speed. Average speed refers to the total distance covered by a particle and is defined as s sub p sub av is equal to total distance over total time or delta t. Let's look at an example where we have a particle that starts off um, and can only move in one dimension, so essentially number line one dimensional motion and it moves four units to the right in three seconds. Once it gets four units to the right, it switches directions instantaneously and moves two units to the left in two seconds. Well, by definition of um, average speed, in this case we'd have s sub av is equal to total distance. So total distance is going to be 4 plus 4 units to the right plus the 2 it traveled to the left over the total time, which is 3 seconds traveling to the right and 2 seconds traveling to the left. Or this will be 6 units in 5 seconds. If we were to um, apply this same scenario in finding the average velocity, or v sub av, we would see that our answer would be 2 units in 5 seconds. Let's take a look at average velocity to see why this is so. Average velocity is mathematically defined to be v sub av is equal to delta x over delta t or um, for a system with a given starting and ending point, meaning that there's an initial value x1 and a final value x2, the average velocity is defined as x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1. Let's graphically illustrate the average velocity. For a given um, slope particle motion um, profile, so let's put some axes on here, we'll have an x here and a t here, um, the average velocity is given as the slope of the line connecting these two points. So you draw a line connecting the two points and the slope is equal to v av. For the one dimensional motion example used in the average speed discussion um, applied to average velocity, back up here we see that according to the definition of average velocity, so v av is equal to recalling x2 minus x1 over t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1, we see that in this case our x2 is going to be where the particle ends up at the end. So in this case we move four units to the right but we move back two units to the left so in the end we're actually ending up at point two. So we have two minus our initial point which is zero and our time is going to be the total time still. We still moved um, five seconds total and assuming we started out at t equals zero we have five minus zero or v av is equal to two units every five seconds. The important difference to note between speed and velocity is that both direction and distance are important in calculating the velocity, while only the amount of distance covered, regardless of direction traveled, is important in calculating speed. Let's look at another important quantity associated with how fast a particle moves. That important quantity is instantaneous velocity. 
let's look at the graph we used in the average velocity scenario. In this case, we're going to look at um, two different points, two different sets of points, rather. We're going to look at an x1a and an x2a, as well as an x1b and an x2b. If we draw the lines that connect these two sets of points as best we can, um, we can see that not only are the slopes that we obtain for those two sets of points different from each other, they're actually different from what we obtained in the first example as well. That should be a straight line. The point is to illustrate that um, our slopes are different depending on which part of the slope profile we examine. So let's let's take a moment and do a thought experiment and let x1 go to x2. So that means, let's say they converge. So we find some point in the middle. Let's say this point here. Well, the um, instantaneous velocity at this point, at this particular x value, is going to be given by the slope of the tangent line to the curve at that particular point. Mathematically, we write this as v, just velocity, is equal to the limit as delta t goes to zero of delta x over delta t. Or in calculus terms, we write this as dx dt. In summary, Depending on the need a physicist has to quantify how fast a particle is moving, they have several different options for calculating exactly what they need. Average speed, average velocity, and instantaneous velocity are all distinctive and uniquely useful.